following technique is a really uh, high, high risk move. Um, you can know, even in fights, try and pull this off right in the beginning. People aren't slippery and sweaty. Okay? We're going to try and do it later on. It's not going to work. Okay. So, it's quite a difficult one. We've got the normal tie up. He's got his hand on my neck. I've got my hand on his neck. Okay. The tie hold. So it's like a tie hanging down. There. Okay. It's got the same. He might hold your hand, doesn't matter. Now, throughout this entire thing, you want to keep your hand holding there. Don't let go because then you're going to fall in your ass. Okay. So you want to keep it in. This one, elbow, you want to keep glued to your chest also the whole time. Okay. And you want to put pressure down because naturally the person's not going to just come down. He knows because if you do that, you, you set him up for a guillotine or some other takedowns. So he's going to automatically pull up and gain posture and keep his base. Okay? Then what you've got to do is you've got to step in, not like a knee. You're going to open like a butterfly guard. You're going to open your knee and put it in his head. The top here. Okay? The higher up, the better. So just to show you that. Tight, tight, pull him up, pull him up, pull him up. Wham! In there. Okay? And then, step in. Step in. There. Good. So. That's the first part. You can, just, you can just stand and get the pulling and the, the holding of the arm, get that sorted out first and the head, okay, and get your knee in, okay. After that, you've got to commit and jump this leg, you can jump onto the person, like into his arms, okay. So I mean, if you, even if he jumps, he's going to jump high. There, he's going to jump higher, okay. You want to go and sit on top of the person's upper body. <coughs> because otherwise if you do it low down, your heel might be there, so you're not going to be able to look around. Okay. You want to then turn your, your head down to his hips. As you jump, whilst you're holding on to this, your entire body goes up, okay, upside down. Okay. So, tie up, he's got it there, leg in, okay, and let me do this, you can hold there, okay. there, in, over, okay. I can see when I fell down, it's also, you want to keep yourself in, as soon as you put that leg over, okay, you're going to keep yourself in a fetal position so that you fall down on your shoulders. Okay? Because that is what we call a parachute fall. You won't fall hard. You will fall because you're pulling the person's upper body with you, but you won't, yeah, you won't weak yourself or knock yourself unconscious as long as you hold on. Okay? Come back. So there, there, got him tied in his seat because I want to get him to get a solid base, otherwise it's not going to work. Okay, so there, he's pulling up, you're going to get your knee in and kick over. Okay, kick as high as you can, wham, hook. And see, I fell, but it's a parachute fall, he falls slowly down and I'm still holding on to his neck, okay, and his arm here. Got the hook in, you can put it on from here already, okay? Just extending out. Or normally with a with a momentum the oak will fall over. Okay? Squeeze together, go the rest. Thumb up. Okay. Okay, go. There you go. You're going to do it too. Not that difficult. The more you do it, the better it is. Go, go. 
as you think to go. See, there's the parachute form, okay? And then it applies the armbar. If you're good at this late time, as you jump, you put on the armbar straight away. 